Christina de Bourbon is a stubborn woman. In her own words, she was born a princess and she will die a princess. Not even her father, the abdicated King Juan Carlos I, was able to force her to choose between her beloved husband, the jailed Iñaki Udangarin, and her rights as a member of the royal family guaranteed by the Spanish constitution. On her wedding day in 1997, he bestowed upon her the title of Duchess of Palma. But the fairy tale would soon become a nightmare. Fifteen years later, her beloved husband's illicit business activities would drag her to a place no member of the royal family could imagine, in front of a judge. When he arrived at court to face corruption charges, Odangarin said, I testify today to demonstrate my innocence, my honor, and my professional activity. In April 2013, the scandal breaks. Headlines read, Her Highness accused, as the princess is charged with complicity in the fraudulent activities of her husband. Despite the advice of even the anti-corruption prosecutor, the judge presiding over the case puts her in the dock. She moves to Switzerland, but is called back in 2014 when she is charged with tax fraud and money laundering. Her husband is granted the right to testify behind closed doors, but the scandal rages. The public is baying for blue blood. The trial undermines the monarchy's already badly damaged image, prompting the royal family to hold the couple at arm's length. In spite of a series of reversals and appeals, the case is given the go-ahead by Judge Jose Castro. The princess is charged with tax fraud and money laundering in January 2014 and appears in court with a smile on her face a month later. She denies any knowledge of her husband's dodgy dealings, saying that he was in charge of the management of their business and that she has full confidence in him. Fast forward to 2016 and the couple is still going strong. By now, the princess has been stripped of her duchess title and Odangarin's family are no longer speaking to him. However, it seems nothing can break the loving bond between them and they arrive at court together. But it comes at a cost. After her fall from grace, Princess Christina will lead a lonely existence. Living in Switzerland and with her husband in prison, she will keep herself busy with bringing up her children.